during the first week of the event, we recognized that there were a number of our employees who had been impacted by this, and they were here working selflessly, uh, not really paying attention necessarily to what was happening with their families and their homes, um, and recognizing that long term they were going to have significant issues. Um, I called Sissy Grantham in, and Sissy is our director of our foundation, who does a great job in terms of raising funds for this organization, but recognizing that we probably needed to raise funds to help our employees. Sissy was more than willing to help, and she pulled together a group of people who said, absolutely, we need to do what we can do. So at that point, we had um, what we're calling our Hurricane Matthew Employee Assistance Fund mm -hmm. developed. We have um, well over $1,000 in gift cards that have also come in addition, in addition to the, the actual cash. We have donation of goods that have come in to, since that time also for our employees. Uh, we have a car that was donated to the foundation. Uh, that car is actually going to be used in our transportation ministry going forward because we have a number of people in our community that lost their vehicles um, trying to get to a doctor's appointment or to the cancer center or for lab work to be done. It's almost impossible for them to do. So that car is going to be used to help a lot of people uh, in terms of getting health care going forward. But as far as our employees are concerned, um, we are determining the criteria for that fund and how it's going to be distributed. Some of um, the gift cards have already been distributed for people who have been able to uh, locate alternate housing. Uh, if they've lost everything, they need sheets, they need towels, they need their groceries replaced and those types of things. So those funds are being used to help the ones that are in the greatest need at this point in time. It's been an outpouring of love. We've had people from all across the United States that have sent funds in. Uh, other health care providers, health care workers who have said, we want to make sure that those, of, those in the health care industry that have been impacted by this are taken care of because um, they realize the sacrifices that are being made by them every day and they just want to be able to help. And I didn't shed a tear during this whole storm until last week when the foundation called me. I got emotional. Just felt the love, you know. I'm not crying about nothing across where I live, you know, just how the Lord just used them to bless me. The North Carolina Hospital Association also has uh, an employee, health care employee assistance fund um, that we'll be tapping into a little bit later on uh, and making available for our employees, as does the American Hospital Association. They too have been uh, very generous in giving to um, the hospitals across um, the United States that were impa impacted by Hurricane Matthew. So there are funds that are available to them, um, <clears throat> which will hopefully defray some of the, the costs that they've had, but also not take from the funds that are being given in general to the population. Uh, if we can help those in the healthcare industry and free up funds for others, then we see that as a very positive thing too.